Hi, how's it going class? Today I will be demonstrating the transfer of heat by conduction and convection in a fun and interesting way. In theory, we will be creating fireproof balloon and fireproof paper. First, I will be demonstrating how conduction and convection heat transfer can be used to make a fireproof balloon. Here, I have two similar balloons, one filled with air and the other filled with air and water. Let's see what happens when the candle is brought close to the balloon filled with just air. So the air-filled air balloon popped when we brought it close to the candle. Now, let's see what happens when we do this with the water balloon. As you can see, when the, when the candle is brought close to this, as a, similarly the same distance uh, as the first balloon to the water-filled balloon, the balloon remains intact. So our second balloon didn't pop. You might be wondering, how does the balloon with water in it resist breaking with the flame? This is because conduction and convection carried the heat away from the rubber balloon to the water and dispersed it through the water before the temperature required for melting of the rubber to occur. Also, this could also be related to the heat capacity of water. The water acts as a sink and it, uh, due to the heat capacity of the water, water is able to absorb, absorb a great deal of heat with little change in temperature. Finally, I will be demonstrating how to fireproof your paper using conduction by solids. Here I have a piece of paper tightly wrapped around a solid aluminum ruler. The theory behind this is that the paper will not catch fire because the metal will be conducting the heat away from the paper before the paper gets hot enough to ignite. Let's see what happens. As you can see, the paper does not catch fire. And voila! Thank you class, and I hope you guys learned a little bit more about heat training.